the fun thing lately is I've been reading a lot about real estate for no particular reason that I feel like discussing right now, but I have been reading right. about it and I'm starting to get a much better understanding of like the idea of like capital versus cash and all these different things. And it's been occurring to me that there's a great metaphor for this in the world of marketing. Um, because we deal a lot in the world of, okay, we need to have a new video going out every single week. Like we know we have to keep this insane pace all the time because people want fresh stuff all the time. But one thing that we notice when we look at a lot of analytics, particularly on YouTube, is that we'll have videos from clients that have been up for two, three years, and they're just racking views, like 100,000 mm -hmm. plus type views. Uh, I don't know what like the record, what the most popular one we've ever done is or anything like that, but I mean, it's in six digits. And I just finally got this notion like, oh, that's capital. Like people don't recognize when they're working on all these different videos. Yes, we have to match the, the what I call like the cash flow of these going out all the time. But when you have that hosted on YouTube, it just continues to build equity over time. Like it's just in a library that will continue to get hits if you do it right. As this is the new concept I'm stuck of. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, that it is really true and super interesting because I think people forget about like their old videos and the old content. They're like, oh, well, you already did it. It's done. But yeah, no, it's always there and it can at any moment like pop off or just continue to like gradually grow and be a return for you. So it's definitely interesting.